Hello friends, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic Trend Analysis. Friend, today's topic uh, is important with respect to uh, project management, PMP, project management body of knowledge or PMI. Uh, friend, if you are a student and uh, studying project management in university or you are planning to give exam of PMP, uh, also if you are a student of business administration, so this topic is important with reference to exam point of view, first of all, if you are a student, because uh, uh, especially if we talk about PMP exam, so you will see this topic in the exam, at least three to four questions will definitely be there in the exam which are directly related to this topic, trend analysis. So your concept should be very clear that what is trend analysis. Secondly friend, if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization as a professional project manager, so uh, it is important that you must have a knowledge that what is trend analysis, what is its implication, implementation in the, uh, with the reference to project management and what is its importance. So um, uh, friend, let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start. Trend analysis. First of all, see friend, we will see this topic with, this friend, with reference to project management or uh, project management body of knowledge. Member. So f first of all, we have to understand friend, what is a project actually? What is the definition of a project? Friend, project is a temporary activity which has a beginning and ending point and it gives you a unique output or product. That is called as a project. Li like for example, you are implementing e-commerce solution for a customer and you have to deliver that project within 4 months. So you will say you will say that it's a project. Why? Because it, the, it is a temporary activity and after 4 months the activity will finish and no more resources will be working there. So project, what is project? Project is a temporary activity which has a beginning and ending point and it gives you a unique output of product. That is called as project. Now, trend analysis friend. What is the relationship of trend analysis with the project man management actually? Friend, uh, do you have ever, uh, I am sure that you have seen the newspapers or uh, uh, television friend what is the definition what is the concept of trend here for example uh, like for example uh, you have seen that any particular type of shoes are very common very popular nowadays let's suppose in a fashion industry so we will say that it's a now nowadays it is a it is in trend any particular type of uh, shirts are very popular nowadays any particular type of hairstyle is very important very popular nowadays so we will say that it is a trend it is a fashion trend that uh, most of the people are um, uh, are having that particular type of haircut so what we what we will say that it is a it is a trend analysis it is a trend it is a fashion trend nowadays why what is fashion trend friend Basically, we will say that nowadays people are following this or uh, people are uh, following this type of style. So, we will say that is a, it is a fashion trend. So, friend, uh, trend means that friend, when people uh, start following it or when uh, when it's uh, become a trend, when people are start following it, we will say that it is a trend basically. Now friend, in uh, in the reference to the uh, project management basically or in general concept of trend analysis means what actually we do, we analyze the historical data like we analyze that what was happened 4 months before, five, uh, one, 1 year before, we analyze the historical data and based on the historical data, we forecast that what will happen in the next four months or two months okay so that is called as the trend analysis just take an example like for example you are implementing e-commerce solution and you analyze that uh, like for example what is the performance uh, since uh, four months before or five months before okay and based on that we can uh, we can predict about the uh, next five months or four months okay 
for example if you are uh, lacking in the schedule you are behind the schedule since four months so obviously you can predict you can forecast that uh, the next four months you will again be behind the schedule okay remember friend one thing that the forecast based on the mathematical calculation it is not something like emotional or uh, uh, you are just saying that basically what happened that based on the calculations based on the historical data we analyze the data and uh, be, uh, on basis of analysis we predict about the uh, future we forecast that what is the expectations with reference to cost with reference to time with reference to schedule with reference to budget okay so that is called as the trend analysis concept what is trend analysis friend trend analysis means that we analyze the historical data of projects like the existing performance with reference to a schedule time cost like how ma in how many months we have completed that particular task in how with with how many cost we have completed that particular task so based on the historical data or past data we use some mathematical calculations and then based on the mathematical calculations we forecast about uh, the future about we uh, we we expected values we will we will show we will uh, we will provide okay so that is called as the concept of trend analysis analyzing the historical data and using the mathematical calculations calculations we 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 can forecast we can uh, provide the expected values of time cost budget uh, schedule okay so that is called as the concept of trend analysis now friend what is the basically advantage uh, what is the benefit of using the trend analysis basically friend see just uh, imagine just think of trend analysis as your progress report see friend here if you are uh, if you do the trend analysis like you analyze the data and using the mathematical calculations you uh, you get the forecast that your project will be 5 months late okay based on the this this will be your forecast like based on the work performed in the 4 months we can uh, we can forecast that how much more time will be required in future what is the expected values of a schedule so basically friend think of this as a alarming situation think of this as a alarm like for example if the things are not going well so they are uh, the the trend analysis report is giving you a alarm and based on those alarms obviously you can take the corrective actions like if the progress report if the trend analysis shows that things are going well so obviously you don't need to take any action that means that things are going okay and if things are not going well if like you are over budget over cost or uh, running behind the schedule so based on all these factors and all those factors you can take the corrective action okay so trend and being uh, basically friend just think of alarming uh, the trend analysis as the alarming situation like uh, think of this as a progress report okay this you can think of trend analysis as sort of progress report it shows you that uh, how much work has been performed and what is the forecast to complete the remaining uh, remaining work and if you are behind the schedule if you are over budget if you are over cost so you can take the uh, corrective actions in this regard so friend trend analysis is very uh, important uh, report trend analysis is a very uh, important analysis in terms of project management because see friend here what happened that uh, uh, normally we all are uh, 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 busy in the executions of projects and in the work and we don't have time to uh, uh, to analyze the thing uh, similarly friend another example I can give you with the reference to stock exchange uh, friend uh, by using the trend analysis in the stock exchange you can analyze that what is the performance what is the historical data of any particular stock and based on of on uh, the historical data based on it uh, on the historical data of a stock you can analyze it and based on using some cal mathematical calculations you can forecast that what will be the 
forecasted value or expected value of that particular st stock okay friend so the friend that's all from my side i hope you like this video and thank you thanks a lot for your time thank you